Green Bay Hospital is now better equipped to help you when you're in, emergence, in an emergency. Angela Kelly joins us live from Bell & Health inside its newly remodeled emergency room. Good morning, Angela. Hi, good morning, Pete and Rachel. Well, part of the newly remodeled emergency room here at Bellin um, is this new ambulance garage, which we're standing in right now. And to better explain uh, what the old one was like, we have Dr. Paul Casey. He is the medical director for the emergency department. Good morning. Good morning, Angela. So we have some video of what the old ambulance bay looks like. Can you kind of take us through it? Sure. Uh, as you can see here, the old garage is a very small uh, garage that requires the ambulances uh, drive in and back out. And this created problems for the ambulances. For example, if uh, one ambulance came in and had another call, they couldn't leave until the one behind them left. It's also a small garage, and it was hard for them to get patients in and out. And finally, it sometimes exposed patients to the elements. So uh, that was part of the impetus to uh, create this new project. So here we are in the brand new ambulance bay. You can see it's much bigger. How many ambulances can you actually fit in here? It's designed for five. Probably in a pinch we could fit six or seven. Wow. It's def definitely an improvement, as you can see. And we do have some paramedics here from County Rescue Services. Uh, good morning, Bob Madigan. Good morning. So uh, why don't you tell us how um, this new ambulance bay has affected your job and your ability to treat patients? Uh, for one, like Dr. Casey mentioned, um, the backup of ambulances, uh, when you have a couple in there, uh, if you get a call and there was two or three backed up behind, it was hard to get your ambulance out. Secondly, uh, one of the nicest things about this ambulance garage is the fact that you can have multiple ambulances in here at one time and you don't have to bring patients inside from outside in the cold or snow or rain or anything like that. Uh, so that's one of the better factors of it. And uh, Eric Nellis, also a paramedic, joins us. Uh, Eric, you really like the... Um the spaciousness of this. Can you explain? Yeah, having the extra room behind your ambulance is important because as we take the gurney out, um, before we were bumping into the garage door sometimes, and uh, being able to have all the extra room just adds for a, a smooth transition for the patient. Mm -hmm. And the, you guys also have a, a nice lounge area. Why would this help paramedics? Well, having that break room after you uh, get done with a call uh, in order to go to the bathroom or um, have a drink of soda or something just to take a little break before you get your next call and have to run out the door. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. So, got, did you guys see the difference from what the old difference. one to this one? Absolutely. Yeah, like a makeover, you know? You see the yes. before and after picture. Wow. Yeah, really incredible. Well, coming up um, in our 8 o'clock hour, we're going to head to the kid care unit. Um, it's an area in the emergency department that's designed just for kids, and uh, it's really neat. So I'm excited to show you guys that a little bit later. As parents, we're excited to see it. Yes, Thanks, good.